they asked me if I wanted to have any scents or any smells put into, that's the same thing, sounds or scents put into the bear. I said no to both because I never put scents. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Janie. I do a lot of stuffed animal videos on this channel. Build-A-Bear, Squishmallow, Squishables. Sometimes I sprinkle in some lounge fly as well as skincare and hair care reviews. Today we're talking about Build-A-Bear. They have a 25th anniversary collection that they're going to be doing throughout the year where they re-release some old designs in celebration of 25 years of being in the business. So I figured I would start it out even though I'm a little bit confused because I look at their chart and there are two bears for February and we are currently in March we're at the end of March so I am not sure if they're gonna be releasing a March bear or what's going on with that but we're starting off with January which is this one right here so this is their hearts for you pup this was 2008 it's the January bear and it is a puppy so it is a white dog with a pink heart shaped nose and a pink mouth as well as some red and pink hearts when I first described this stuffed animal in my turning red video I said it was lipstick shaped spots on him I don't know why I said that they're hearts they're hearts and it's very cute it's 12 inches and I picked it up when I was with my friends in the American Dream Mall which is in New Jersey it was my first time going there and my first time being in Jersey since I was 19 years old and I'm now 28 so it was very trippy it was very overwhelming and I didn't expect to see this because this is currently sold out online. It's $25, but it's sold out. I did find it obviously locally or not locally because I had to go to another state for it. But the 34th Street one didn't have it at the time that I was there. But I think my kiosk one that's local, it's not a store. It's like a little kiosk at the mall also has it. So it definitely doesn't hurt to check locally instead of just looking it up online. Because sometimes it doesn't tell you the stock levels of every store in your area. So I'm happy. I picked it up. I snagged it. It's cute. It's missing the 25 anniversary tag that my other one does have. I don't know if that's because I just picked it. Like I was just going, I was very overwhelmed when I saw this because I thought it was going to be sold out and I was never going to get it. But it doesn't have the tag, but that's fine. On the bottom left paw, it says 25th Celebration Collection in a sparkly silvery font, which is cute. And yeah, I got this. I took it to the stuffing machine. I waited in a long line. It was like... We kind of was we were at the mall like in mid afternoon on a Saturday and I just don't think that's the best idea. But nevertheless, it was a fun experience. They asked me if I wanted to have any scents or any smells put into that's the same thing. Sounds or scents put into the bear. I said no to both because I never put sounds in anymore. I don't feel like they're worth it unless it comes within the bundle of whatever I'm ordering, like with Baby Yoda. I did do it and with a couple other of the Pokemon ones but generally I don't put sounds I don't feel like they're worth it it's cute but for me I'm not gonna be hearing it or squeezing it that often to hear that same thing with the beating heart I've done the beating heart a couple times which is like six bucks but not something I necessarily need and the smells I did want to try out a smell because I had mentioned previously that I was gonna try out what people were commenting like they were giving me some suggestions because I have an issue where I will buy the smells from Build-A-Bear and I feel like it doesn't last so I was going to try them out. I heard your feedback, but I was I was going over my budget tremendously. So I was trying to kind of stick to the bare necessities, necessities, and I got this bear by itself. So it was one of the ones that you get sewn on. I used to work at Build-A-Bear, and I always had a hard time sewing these because we had such a short time frame to learn how to sew. I didn't already know prior to that. And my struggle was just getting tying a knot on the thread when you would put it into the needle like for some reason that was so difficult for me and it doesn't help that you're doing it in front of people so I would get nervous so I like the ones where you could just pull the string and it tightens and you just cut off the excess so while she was tightening this up or sewing this up I went to do my birth certificate which is generally a part of this experience that I skip because it's just a piece of paper and it's very cute if it's your first time or if you're doing this with a child or if this is a gift to someone but for me I don't really care about it and the only reason I did it was because I knew she needed more time to finish the stitching otherwise I usually skip that and it's interesting because when you do online orders they give you an option to fill out a birth certificate and I usually skip that as well but they still send you one anyway I forgot what I named her on the screen they gave you some suggestions if you would click on the button I think it was Rose but maybe not Daisy it wasn't Daisy because it was a weird spelling I don't know but nonetheless she's really cute I'll take a look at the certificates They're at my husband's house so I'll put it here once I find out what I actually named 
winter put her in a cup condo because i already had a backpack on from Latchfly, and i didn't want to have another one like they have like the drawstring bags where you can place your animal and kind of walk around with them but for me that's not something i really wanted to do so i chose a cup condo which are smaller than what they used to be uh, they were a dollar so that's fine but yeah i got her i'm happy she's cute she's adorable she's soft um, and next time I'm going to talk about Blossom Bunny or Bunny Blossom. Super cute as well. These are both, again, 25th anniversary. This was 2008. That one's 2010, I think, or 2011. But these are really fun and I'm really curious to see, I'm really curious to see what they're going to come out with or what designs they're going to like bring back from the past couple of years because they've had some really cute ones like sometimes they look on ebay and you see a lot of people reselling really old bears for a lot of money like recently i saw sonic i'm not a big fan of sonic i know the movie's coming out soon but i saw some old bears that i guess billy bear came out with like 10 years ago and they were expensive so it's kind of cool to see what comes back and what doesn't what's a hit and what sells out really fast i'm probably not going to get the little curly haired one that was from 1997 because it's just so simple like i have so many simple bears and again I'm trying not to buy just to buy so I might hold out on that one because you know it's just I don't need it and I don't have room for it and I, the, my mountain of stuffed animals continues to grow because I don't have anywhere in this room really to put a shelf or like I don't even have a bookcase for my books let alone my stuffed animals so I don't know what I'm gonna do but nevertheless I'm gonna just try not to buy what I don't need so I'm probably skipping that one let me know if you're picking up any of these and what requests you have for this channel what you want to see i have been sticking kind of with this build a bear stuffed animal niche for a little bit and i've been seeing really good results on my channel um as of right now i'm not sure how long that's gonna stay last I, like i don't know we're a variety channel but i have been sticking to the stuffed animals just lately because it's been a lot of fun but of course let me know your feedback down below and if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already also follow me on bunny cheney on twitter and instagram where i do a lot of behind the scenes stuff sneak peeks of what's to come and what i'm working on and also occasionally some rants <laughs> so if you made it to the end thank you so much once again i'm getting really repetitive i'll see you very soon